Hey guys, this is Nolan from Mapper, and we're going to show you a new product we're launching this week, the lens protector from the Survey 2 camera. Alright, I'm going to go over the parts that come with the lens protector, and I'm going to install it onto a Survey 2 camera. In the clear box that you'll be receiving is the slip mount and the glass window. The slip mount itself has three set screws and the window itself is threaded on both sides but it will only go on on one direction. The other parts included in this is a rubber o-ring and a small allen wrench to tighten the set screws on there. First thing you're going to want to do is screw in each of the three set screws until you just start to see them in the center of the slip mount. Once you've done that, you're going to want to place the lens protector onto the lens. It should slide on nicely. The glass lens protector itself is going to uh, touch the top of the lens. You're going to want to back it up just slightly so it's not touching. You're going to want to take the lens mount and rotate it until one set screw is pointing at the power button and that will allow easy access to the other two screws. The most difficult one will be this one that's right over the camera body and we're going to want to turn using the allen wrench. When you're looking at the inside you're going to want to notice that the space around the lens surround itself, so there's the lens in the center, then the lens surround which is the piece of plastic around the lens, and then there's the slip mount itself. There's a small gap between where the lens surround and the slip mount itself is. And as you thread in the set screws, you're going to notice that that gap is going to get bigger. And what you want to do is you want to make that gap even all the way around. We're going to screw the first set screw in and we're going to look at the gap and we'll know when it's engaged by the gap starting to get bigger on the side that the set screws on. Once you feel it start to grab, you're going to want to rotate the camera and start threading the next one. Something that you want to do is you want to look at the side and make sure that the lens protector is flat and parallel with the faceplate of the camera. So you can push down on it and adjust it as such. Once you have it where you like it, you can continue tightening it. Again, looking in the down into the lens surround area to match the spacing in between. Once you're satisfied that both of these two corners, these set screws here, the spacing is even, you can then screw the top set screw in. And you only want to screw the top one in here until you just feel it hit the lens surround. You don't need to apply any pressure going this way because that will push the lens surround out and could potentially introduce dust in through that hole there. Okay, once you have all three on there, it's very, very secure. There's no way it's going to ever come off unless you undo the set screws. The window itself can now be removed. We're going to take the dust ring and we're going to just push it around the lens itself. Okay, you can see I've installed the dust ring here around the lens. Now that it's installed, I can thread on the filter. And the lens protector is ready to go. Taking a look at the cameras mounted on the Solo here, with the clips in place. The clip itself goes underneath the lens protector. So if you're noticing that the lens protector might be slightly too far down and is not allowing the clip to slide under, you may need to loosen the lens protector set screws and push it slightly higher away from the camera so the clip can sit underneath. But it is a very good tight fit and as you can see the cameras are well secured with the lens protectors protecting the lenses themselves. 
That's been a quick tutorial on how to install the lens protector on the Survey 2 cameras. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, please let us know.